Welcome back folks, it's your boy Editor Matt. In today's episode, we're gonna be looking at the Mulvavi Video Suite 2020. This video is a sponsored video brought to you by the Mulvavi Video Suite. They reached out and asked if I could show you guys their product. I tried it out and thought it was a good fit for the channel. That being said, I won't do any sponsored posts on this channel unless it is something that I think is actually good and useful for you. Sorry Raid Shadow Legends. That being said, let's take a look at what the Movavi Video Suite can really do. And also, who is it good for? But I guess the title of the video kind of gave that away. Anyways, let's take a look. All right, so here we are in the Movavi Video Suite 2020 launcher. If take a look at the left side here, we have tools, which include video, audio, photo, and data. And then we have some extras, stock content, applications, and online courses. So this video will entirely focus on the video, but we can take a quick dive into some of these other categories as well. In the video section, we have our video editor, we have a video converter, we have a screen recorder, we have a camera capture software, a video splitter, and a video player. And then we also have record video games and a 3D video editor, uh, but these are extra. If we click on more apps, we can see all the other applications that you can purchase as well. So the four I wanna focus on here is split video, screen record, convert video, and of course, the video editor. Let's start off with the split video. So in here, we can open up a file and we can add our in and our out point and save a converted file. By default, it will create a folder in your videos folder and your clip will go there. But if we hop into our settings and preferences, um, we can actually change where that folder goes. It was super quick. It didn't seem like it had to re-encode the video. It just chopped off the beginning and end to the out points. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but it was almost instant. You can also split a clip and then save this as two different video files. And if you wanna take a look at the keyboard shortcuts, we can go to settings and find them right there. All right, that's it for the video splitter. Let's hop into the screen recorder. Now over here on the right, we have this little widget. I can take a screenshot or I can start recording. I'm gonna hit the record video button. I can either draw a box or I can hit spacebar to record the full screen. I'm just gonna hit spacebar. So we are not recording yet. We still have to hit the record button down here, but there's a few options we can select. On the bottom right here, we can record our keystrokes. So it'll visually show the buttons you are pressing. Down below, we can highlight our cursor. This will put a little yellow circle around your cursor as you move it across the screen. And then we have highlight mouse clicks. This is gonna create a little animation every time we click. And we also have the option of enabling our webcam, enabling our microphone, and muting our desktop audio. So let's hit record, and we'll get a countdown, and now you can record whatever you like. So now when you stop recording, it's going to immediately open up your screen recording where you can make some edits, and you can share it on a social platform. Or you can open it up in the video editor. To make an edit, you can just scrub to the point where you wanna make an edit, hit the cut button, and now select the area you'd like to delete. So I wanna get rid of this area, I can then just hit delete. And now I have a trimmed up video to send. All right, let's hop into the next piece of software. It is the video converter. So let's just hit launch here. So this is actually really handy and very easy to use. It looks like it supports a wide range of codecs and has lots of options for exporting. So let's throw in a clip and give her a go. So I imported a clip and we can take a look at some of the features. So down at the bottom here, these are different presets you can use on your footage. Starting with the most used popular formats and then we can go into our video and be a little bit more specific or we can select what device we want our footage to go on and it'll have a preset best for that device. Lots of audio codecs, image codecs. And when you select the one that you want, let's do MP4 and take a look. We have a bunch of different options we can select from. Let's go with the 1920 by 1080. And I noticed it says Super Boost here. I guess this is their form of possibly GPU encoding. I'm not entirely sure. As we see down here, you can use your uh, Nvidia graphics card to speed it up. So it looks like they have their own version of that. Now, if you'd like, you can come down to this gear and customize this even further. You can change the image size, you can put in your own custom height and width, resize quality, the method of resizing, your bitrate, and if we go into advanced, there's even more options. By default, your videos will save to your videos folder in the Movavi library folder. All right, let's move on to the main attraction, the video editor. Let's start a new project. If you've used a video editor before, this probably looks very familiar. You have a timeline, you have a preview, and you have a bin. Let's start by importing some footage. Drag it into the timeline. And I assume that your timeline is the same settings as your footage. So let's jump through some basics. We can click on a clip and we can trim it. If you wanna zoom in, we can hold down control and scroll, or we can use the little slider down here. If you wanna delete a clip, you just select and delete. If you wanna separate your audio, you can pull it down. 
you want to see our keyboard shortcuts, we can go up to help and go to keyboard shortcuts. Here we can see what all the shortcuts are. It doesn't seem like you can edit these shortcuts, which is unfortunate. But the main one I want to see here is split clip, control B. So now we can go through our footage, control B, delete, control B, control B, delete. Usually when you import your footage, you'll see a little icon down here saying optimizing HD clips. What it's doing is that it's creating preview files in the background so that when you're editing, it'll be a lot smoother. This is a really nice feature that some other editing softwares have as well. In order to add B-roll, we just want to take our clip, pull it into the timeline, and then pull it up. And now we can readjust that above my talking, and I'm also going to pull the audio down and delete it. So now we just have the B-roll and me talking below. So let's take a look at some of our tools and options here. So if I click on a clip, we have the split tool, the rotate tool, the crop tool, the color adjustment tool, and the clip properties. So the split tool will literally split your clip. We've been doing this with control B. The rotate button will rotate your clip. Now if we hop over to our clip properties, we can come up to applied effects and see the rotation there, and we can remove that if we like. And if we use the crop tool, this will allow us to crop in on our footage. Now let's take a look at the color adjustments. I'm just gonna hide my footage here by clicking the eyeball so we can take a look at my talking clip here. We'll go into our color adjustments. And by default, we have the options of using auto contrast, auto saturation, auto white balance, or magic enhance. I'm just curious what the magic enhance will do. Not too much in this example. But what I wanna do is hop into the advanced here. So from here, we can adjust the white balance, the brightness, contrast, saturation, highlights, gamma, shadows, hue, temperature, and tint. There is no video scopes in the software as this is a software for beginners. Uh, so we're just gonna eyeball this. All right, cool, that looks pretty good. Let's hop back to our import section here into our media bin. The Movavi editor suite comes with a collection of sounds and music you can use, and even sample footage. There's also backgrounds, and a big one here is effect packages. These are extra templates you can purchase for your videos. For example, here we have one that is for Instagram stories, funky vibes, prom night, futuristic, horror, lots of different options for you to use for your videos. Let's move on to the video filters. If we go to all, we can see all the different effects you can add to your videos. There is a whole bunch, including noise effects, uh, flips and different orientation effects. You can do a fisheye, some artistic effects, camera blur. They even have some looks you can add, some emoji style animations, light leaks, that's pretty sweet. They also have a bunch of different vignette options and some more. They also have a store where you can purchase more effects. Let's take a look at the transitions. Let's just breeze through this quickly. You have all your different wipes and crossfades and whatever you can imagine. There's some creative ones here. Let's take a look at how these transitions work. So we can apply them to the footage, and then if we double click, we can change the settings here. So I like my transitions to be pretty quick. Let's do 0, 5. Let's see how that looks. Cool. So maybe there are some transitions in here that you can use in your video. Let's hop over to the text. So this is pretty nice. By default, they have a bunch of text animations that you can use in your videos, and you can also purchase extras. Let's take a look at how these work. So if we drag and drop them, all you have to do is double click on the text and we can change it to whatever you'd like. You can also reposition where the text is. I can see this being really nice for beginners who don't know how to do motion graphics and just want something simple for their video. Let's move on to stickers. This is where you'll find a lot of emojis and different arrows that you can use, different icons, anything that might help you tell your story. I don't think I would use these, but maybe they are something that would be good for you. Then the final section here, we have more tools. We can get to our color adjustments, just like we saw earlier, crop and rotate, like we saw earlier, overlays, so if you wanna do a quick picture in picture or split screen, we can easily just click on that and boom, done, good to go. And if you wanna adjust your split screen, you just click on your clip and click and drag, good to go. I'm just gonna remove that from our clip properties. We have pan and zoom. These will allow you to make a movement between keyframes. So here I have left to right. We can keyframe my footage left to right. And all these other directions. We can stabilize footage. Let's try out the stabilizer. 
So I tried stabilizing this clip. There wasn't much movement to begin with, but it seems like it did a pretty good job. There's also lots of options for you to fine tune your stabilization. Let's move on to the next thing. We can add a highlight and conceal. So this is if we wanted to isolate something or block something, we could add a filter on top. You can either blur or darken or add a box blur. You can do chroma key. So we have scene detection. This will automatically look for cuts in your video. Let's give her a shot. So it automatically just cut my footage into clips. That's pretty neat. I haven't seen anything like that before. That's actually really cool. You can add a logo. I assume this is sort of like a watermark. I'm not gonna bother. And slow motion. So we could select a clip and make it slow-mo. They also have effects for audio. So you can add an equalizer or noise removal or like some pitch and fun effects. So that's basically it for the Movavi video editor. You have all the tools at your disposal to create awesome videos. Which brings us to the main question here, who is this editing software really for? This editing software is for beginner filmmakers or hobbyists. It is not for professionals. Actually, Movavi even offers online courses so that you can learn how to edit yourself. They have courses from becoming a YouTuber to becoming a filmmaker or an editor, how to use their software, tips and ideas for your YouTube channel, so that's not even editing related, make epic videos on the internet. So it's very clear that this software is for beginners and hobbyists. They also have the stock content area where you can purchase your different effects, but also you can purchase stock video footage audio and images. So if that's something you're looking for, the Movavi Video Suite has it. In the description, there is a link to a seven day free trial for you to try out the Movavi Video Suite. And if it's the editing software for you, there is a 20% off coupon down below. Speaking of, I should probably tell you the price. So to purchase all the software that I talked about in this video, it is $85.95 Canadian, which in comparison to a lot of other options, this is very affordable. It is also a one-time purchase. And if you use the code SWEET2020, you can get 20% off your purchase. So that is it for me. This is the Movavi Video Suite. If you are a beginner filmmaker or hobbyist, I would highly recommend checking it out. And again, big thank you to the people over at Movavi Video Suite for sponsoring this video. That's it for me. I'm Editor Matt, and I hope you have a wonderful day.